What is up you smexy individuals? My name is Birdman778 and welcome to our next thematic build video. Today we are working on another Apex Legends inspired build for Zane called the Watson build. Watson is a defensive style character from Apex Legends who is more of a speed character compared to her other defensive heroes Caustic and Gibraltar. She specializes in shield recharge rates and also shock damage. Now the entire aspect of this build that I'm like super attracted to is the fact that Watson is actually my main in Apex Legends so I've always wanted to try to figure out a way to kind of incorporate her into uh, Borderlands in some way shape or form for a build and finally in Hi, Borderlands we kind of have some stuff that we can do that with. So obviously a big part of this build is the fact that Shock and Watson kind of go together so we needed to get nothing but Shock weapons and abilities that kind of benefited from using shock damage. So weapon lowdown that we did was the Sandhawk, a Plague Bear, a Kaozen, and then the OPQ system. Now the OPQ system is kind of the, the, the big gun of this entire build. Uh, a big reason why I decided to pick the OPQ system is the fact that uh, even though it does neutral uh, regular damage, it does a passive shock explosion on its enemies. Um, which really kind of helps like just do some extra damage and also especially shred shields on those who are using it. Uh, the KOs and I mainly use to kind of just like whittle down enemies or just like kill that one little mob here uh, side to side. Uh, the Plague Bear mainly use it for big mobs where I'm just essentially just trying to uh, whittle them down as much as humanly possible uh, from a, a large range. And then the Sandhawk mainly for those heavier uh, health enemies to kind of whittle them down a bit more now down to our items We're using the transformer shield obviously it makes perfect sense because it's the strongest uh, Shock related shield and also we we don't take any shock damage whenever it happens um, We're using a sea and dead class mod mine is a weapon damage action skill cooldown rate and health regen because um, I, I definitely need some health regen with kind of how our skill tree is based around uh, a recurring hex that has uh, shock damage and then a snowdrift victory rush. So going into our action skill tree, uh, the biggest one we really want to uh, go over is the green skill tree. Why? Because Watson herself is super big into shielding, uh, getting shields up and stuff like that. So we wanted to use barrier as much as humanly possible and the green skill tree abilities that kind of talk about and work through shields themselves. That being ready for action and hardy stock. Uh, maximum shield capacity and recharge rate and recharge delay um, boost to that. So really helps out getting your shields up and also the barrier itself, just kind of adding an extra layer to Zane himself to protect him. Uh, for the augments, we want to do the all-arounder. Again, encapsulates all of all Zane, uh, keeps him safe. And then deterrence field, because if anybody hits him, uh, they take shock damage and they're staggered, just like how enemies in Apex Legends who might touch Watson's barrier uh, will be shocked and staggered, um, giving you kind of the advantage to, to go and go in for the attack. Uh, going into the blue skill tree, we want to do Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel is always going to be such a huge part of any Zane build, in my opinion, uh, just because it definitely has the best um, anointments, stuff like that. Uh, but just because the Sentinel drone is, is just such a, a good part of a Zane build. Um, but um, those augments that we're going to have for it are going to be Static Field and uh, Winter's Drone. Uh, the static field mainly being the biggest one because it shoots that shock beam um, that drains enemies of their shields, replenishing your own. Again, shield recharge rate, stuff like that. Um, but also the fact that a lot of the skills in the blue skill tree go around speed and damage. So Watson, again, being a speed-related character in Apex Legends, we wanted to boost up those abilities for Zane. So violent momentum and violent speed being so big uh, for him for this tree. And then finally in the red skill tree, mainly just want to get into synchronicity, a uh, little bit of borrow time, and then obviously Donnybrook. Now when it comes to mayhem modifiers, I'm I'm kind of a fan of Slayer recently. I just kind of like being able to uh, get those like health packs, the, the shield recharges from enemies that are below 15%. I think it's super beneficial and helps out all around. The Healy Avenger, I, I think it's super easy to, to knock those out. And, the, it, it, and even whenever like an enemy gets recharged from those, I just... You just shoot them a little bit more, and they're dead. Um, pool party. It's kind of a kind of a gross one, but at the same time, especially with this build, you're 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 so in, in, engrossed, I guess, um, in your shield that it you don't really take a whole lot of damage, and you're constantly moving around, so you shouldn't even be really sitting in those pools, regardless. And then finally, buddy system again, kind of goes back to Healy Avenger. It's a super easy thing to knock out real quick. It might be annoying, but it's in the long run, it's better than something like like post mortem where you have 
literal death following you. So as you can see throughout this build video, it's a really good mobbing build, even though it is a shock based build and shock really doesn't get a whole lot of love i feel like uh throughout the the game but getting to make a build based around this that shows it some love was pretty cool but guys thank you for stopping by i hope you enjoyed uh i stream on twitch monday wednesday and friday starting at 9 p.m eastern standard time uh, i'm on obviously here on youtube so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell uh for more videos uh stop by my twitter birdman778 and on instagram at birdmangram uh, guys, until next time, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you later.